Hello everybody, Swift here again with another potato run. And today I'm gonna be doing a run with the Wildling with the spear as a primitive weapon because Wildlings used to use spears. Now this guy also starts with a stick, which I mean, doesn't really matter to me, but it is a thing. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're gonna be Wildling with our spear here trying to destroy our opponents as um, yeah, we're, we're, gonna, we're going out hunting. That's, I guess, the lore in today's video. <laughs> Which uh, I really enjoy. Look at how much money we gained turn one. This was a really, really good start, in my opinion. And for the items, of course, we're going to start with a good old panda. No, I'm kidding. We're not going to go with panda today. It's not a single panda is going to get gained. I decided to do something very, very, very specific today. So we are the wildling. We are outside in the wild. And what is the one thing that we're going to find in the wild? potatoes so today's run is not only going to be only spears but it's also only going to be potatoes i'm not going to use anything else now i have done a potato run already in my life i want to be honest about that you can uh, hopefully cards gonna appear at the top right there has been a potato run that has been a thing uh, but um yeah we're gonna go with only 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 spears today i'm gonna get the stick just for this beginning portion of the run and we're gonna rotate over to spears the moment i find another spear here in the shop like we're gonna start throwing these away and start including and look at this i'm 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 now a, I'm just a potato. I'm a potato wilding now. I'm a potato in the wild, I would say. And of course, we will need to increase our attack speed and movement speed and damage and, and armor and health. And guess what? All of these are covered by the potato. I'm not even gonna get pickup range, which is one of the things I really really care about. You know what? Maybe I should go with. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go with one other item other than the potato head and the potato and that is going to be my own relic the sift relic we're gonna get one sift relic and that's it but not yet not yet first we're gonna spam potatoes let's go movement speed it doesn't matter like it really doesn't matter what we're gonna invest into as potatoes provide us with hp hp regen life steal damage speed dodge armor and luck so the only thing we should invest is i guess melee damage you know the the, the melee damage that, that's a thing Spear, nice. Let's throw away another one of those sticks. Actually, let's combine them. I'm not even going to take not really nothing, nothing. I'm, I'm going to avoid literally everything. We're going only with spears. I'm a wildling. There are no aliens out there. There are no... Uh, there is nothing out there. there. There isn't any coupon out there in the wild. There isn't any alien tongues. There is nothing. <laughs> there are only potatoes in the wild. I'm going to get every single weapon of mine by hand. We're gonna spear everything to death. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really. I should avoid saying this, death. But whatever, it doesn't really matter. Let's continue destroying opponents. Now, of course, we have life steal and HP regen. So all in all, we're gonna be very safe. We're also gonna have max life and movement speed and dodge and armor. Like, actually, do we get dodge? Yeah, we do get dodge. Wow, this the, the potato is actually insane as a main weapon, and it also gives you luck. Like, it gives you everything, everything that your had desire, your heart desires, your desired hearts. Let's continue with the potatoes. And uh, yeah, now that we have realized that the one thing we care about is melee damage, we're going to just try to invest everything into melee damage. And luck is also important, of course. Uh, but here I'm going to try to force a melee damage if I can, as that is the one stat we cannot really gain. So uh, I'm losing a lot of money by rolling these. I'm losing a lot of... I'm losing a lot of money. I'm losing a lot... <laughs> okay, we got it. Uh, let's continue with this. I'm not even gonna get a bag. There is no bags out there. I mean, little muscle, dude. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe muscles. Maybe flints make sense, you know. Um, some things here and there are... Uh, do exist out there in the wild. Uh, I like boiling water, but... Boiling water doesn't happen. <laughs> that was a bad example to randomly put out of my head. <laughs> like that, that, that was definitely a no. <laughs> like, 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 like boiling water. Like, uh, you know, like a cap. Uh, those are things that you find in the wild for sure. <laughs> By the way, how do you boil water in the wild? Um, actually, no, 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 I take that back. Wait a minute, no, no, how do you boil water in the wild? I mean, you put the water over the fire, but where in do you put the water before you put it over the fire? That is the question. Like, of course, I do get the part where you can just put a fire out. Uh, like, create fire, I get it. But where do you put the water in to put it on the fire to actually boil it? That is the question for you guys today. And something else, if you're gonna write about that, also write about something else. Uh, give me ideas. Give me ideas about what you think or you want me to play, right? Give me ideas about uh, what build you want to see what run you want to see anything anything you want to see just just comment down below and tell me about it and you know i'm gonna start, start trade, taking them into consideration i'm i why did i not pick up that spear i pressed it you saw that thing light up like you saw the lighting up happen but for some reason for some reason <laughs> it didn't go through Let, let's try this again i'm gonna click this and then this at the same time boom this time it did it i hate you game you see it didn't do it again it didn't do it again what's happening why can i not buy this this is blue. I have blues. This should combine. Wait a minute. 
You cannot equip weapons on both tier 2. Well, I did not read that correctly. I thought you cannot find weapons above tier 2. Meanwhile, I'm finding tier 1 weapons. Yeah. Um, whoopsie. Uh, let's go. The build is ready. Like That is the build. Let's go into the wilds. That's it. We're not going to farm anymore. We're not going to do anything anymore. We're just going to buy the sift, get the sift relic, and then everything else into potatoes. And that's it. This is the rest of the run. We're going to become more and more powerful. Slowly, we're going to scale up to the wildling scale of power, I guess. As if that is even a thing. But we're going to, you know, slowly start powering up through the power of potatoes. We're also going to increase our luck. Therefore, we're going to get more potatoes and more potatoes are going to be more luck, etc, etc, etc. Like, it's a big chain reaction of we're going to scale damage and exponentially, I would say. Uh, yeah, I, I would say exponential. Let's, let's chase down that guy. Wait, he's still alive? No, that, I think that was a second one and a third one. Okay, I think we got three of those unless I he somehow avoided us and I don't know. Does a potato provide with crit chance? Because if it doesn't, it does not. So we definitely want to invest some levels into crit chance and melee damage. That's the two levels we want. And nothing else. Like melee damage and crit chance. Crit chance is a yes, as I said. Let's roll this. Uh, luck is also a yes, but I mean... Yeah, let's get the luck. It's gonna scale us. And we don't need the shop. Off we go into the next fight. We are a little potato. Yeah, I said we're gonna get the Sift Relic, but the more I'm thinking about this, the more it doesn't make sense. Because um, Sift is not a thing in the wild, although my icon does look like, um, I guess, a virus. So virus definitely exists in the wild. Like, definitely, they definitely, definitely exist out there. So, um, yeah, maybe it makes sense, maybe not, but it's also a wristband, so at the end of the day, it doesn't make sense. But it's also relics, so relics are a thing in the wild, so <laughs> it's you, you win some, you lose some, the arguments come and go. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure if I should take them. Now, uh, I think the dev of this mod made it so that my relic also picks up consumables, or maybe they didn't do that. Maybe they just told me that they might do it. If, ah, you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We don't even care about our money, and the, the boxes do get gathered, so we're just gonna go on with those potatoes, because that's the only thing that exists out there. Let's roll these. Uh, I'm gonna say none of these. Eight million damage. Let's go, and let's go for some secrets. Let's go. And the last, but not least, last but not least, <laughs> no, melee damage, let's go for, and we can, oh, hammer, that is also very, very wildling-esque, especially how it looks, but, uh, no, we're keeping the spears, we, we are, uh, we are the very, very first tribesmen, why would I use axes when spears are the main thing we would use, wait a minute, is that actually a thing, like, the wildlings, the back in the day, did they first create spears and then only spears for a long while? And then later they discovered that uh, stone hammers and stone axes are a thing? I'm pretty sure, right? Because the spears... Yeah, 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 I'm pretty sure about that. Because the spears were not stone spears. L like, they do look like spear uh, stone spears right here. But I think the spears back in the day were just logs. Like, they were logs that were pointy at one of the ends. And then they maybe used... I guess, a stone to make them more sharp. Okay, man, forget this. The, the analogy isn't going anywhere. I have no idea about the subject matter. So if somebody knows, comment down below. But I definitely don't. So don't take my word for it. Just search it up. We're going to continue. The potato with the spears is incoming. Now, of course, my damage is never going to scale into crazy amounts as we have blue spears and we can't really invest into higher tier spearing. I'm going to say crit chance. I'm gonna say melee damage. Oh, there was a 5% crit chance that we lost because I'm clicking too fast. 7% crit chance. You see, I, I I was predicting the future. Repentier. Repentier is also very much Wildling-esque. Uh, I could have done a different type of run. I could have been like, you know what? We're gonna buy anything that feels to be primitive. Maybe that could be a thing. Do a primitive run. Everything that's primitive. But at the end of the day, nope. I'm a Wildling. We have spears. There is nothing else to be done. Oh, Mammoth would also really fit with the Wildling, right? The Mammoth doing melee damage. Giving melee damage would also really much be fitting. But honestly, we are a bit... Nah, we're not that bad. We're a Wildling. We're not like... A borderline or a Homo Sapiens. I mean, are the Wildlings borderline or the Homo Sapiens? I, uh, I'm also not really caught up with history. You know, uh, I, when I was a kid in, in school, I was like, you know what, I don't care about history because, yeah, I do get the part, I, I do get the part of um, whoever doesn't know his history is bound to repeat itself or whatever, you know, however that is said in English because, you know, it's differently said in Greek. <laughs> but, um, 
Yeah, but but that did not dissuade me from that did not pursue that did not force me to go into history. Like it, it didn't really change anything about the fact of the matter. So um, yeah, and the reason is very simple, by the way. The reason of why I always thought that history isn't important to learn in school. Okay, I'm not saying history isn't important flat out. I'm saying history is not important to learn. And that's what I what's my opinion is because you can search up whatever you want to learn. And like that that was my mindset always. Of course, now that I'm bigger, I realize that. That, that mindset isn't exactly true because uh, you can't actually you know have a discussion and then mid discussion be like you know what i don't know about this let me read about this and then come back to you with an opinion that's formulated that i just formed that i just decided is true for me like it doesn't really go like that you can't really open up but the thing is i'm not even opening up discussions about um history and what how times used to be like those are discussions that i really 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 don't care about because um yes as i said i do get that you know, uh, you you need your past to form your future. I do I do know that, uh, but you also need the present to form the future. And I'm more present focused. Uh, that's that's like like there's a different point of view. I'm more of okay, what's true right now, what's real right now, so we can you know form a future from the point where our art right now. Now by while in the meantime looking back, you get ideas about what to um, you know what works like what did work what worked out back in the day uh, how did people do that back in the day but the trap on that is that back in the day quote unquote they might have had wrong decisions right that's why that, that's my opinion by the way that, that's how i'm viewing the world i'm pretty sure other people are seeing this completely differently you know completely different opinion on how important or not it is to look back and actually you know learn from past mistakes or try to apply new logic into the with the new data you have currently going because not every single event is the exact same event as the past right it's i think it's different point of views of course you can mix and match these of course you should use the past and the present to form the future or something um, or something <laughs> um, but as i said like it's one thing to say you use them both and it's another thing to say I, you mainly focus on one of the two because I don't think you can actually use both right I, I mean as I said you can use both but I you cannot factually use both you, you cannot factually say that yes this is the current data but back in the day they used to do that like if you do that the moment you actually introduce what the past worked you are instantly invalidating what the future what the present holds right um, unless it's like completely the exact same thing uh, for example well i used to have uh, two apples back in the day and right now i have two apples so if i eat one of the two i should theoretically have one apple i can use the past and the present to say the same thing i mean that, that, was, that was like an extremely bad example of what i'm trying to say but when we're talking about theory and we're talking about things that are going to affect an actual future like if you're going to you know if, if it's going to be something big that's when we are talking about past and present if we're talking about some just just math or just we missed this quick chance there if we're just talking about math or whatever then uh, i don't think this whole discussion is even about that so um yeah i mean at that point it's like completely off balance i'm really excited to see the comments today man it's Depending on how much people interact with the things I'm saying right now, today's comments are gonna be a bunch. Uh, also, I'm seeing we're at the 3D minute mark of the video, and uh, we are already at wave 11, so uh, there is a good chance this video is gonna be a 25 minute video. You know what? Um, this is sift from the 11, 13 minute mark, and I'm gonna just do a blind, uh, a blind guess on how long this is gonna last, right? Because I, I cannot possibly know right now how long this video is gonna be. So I'm going to say that the video is going to be, um. 25 minutes long so that's my guess and uh, i also did the voice on purpose so that you guys feel as if i edited the video in <laughs> in case i hit the number now i also made you doubt if 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 it is actually 25 minutes long i i made this literally on purpose to see <laughs> to to make you guys doubt is this edited was this edited now in was it not edited by the way it's not edited i never edit these videos uh, and also i'm i'm like one of these persons where people that i i don't really enjoy lying to you about things i do i might hide information but when i'm doing something very specific like editing the video most of the time i'm like uh sift uh, editing sift coming in uh, you know if you have ever seen anything that i edited back in the day when i was playing scripture and whatnot like once in a five thousand year you know I, one one video out of my i don't know 1600 i don't even know how many videos i have right now um yeah uh, you, you have definitely heard once in a while me being like uh editing coming in i made a mistake here or there was something Duck, a rubber duck, those used to exist back in the day. I remember. 
Do I get attack speed, by the way? Yeah, I do get it. No, I don't get attack speed. I'm so stupid. I don't get attack speed. What have I been doing? I thought the potatoes give you attack speed. Movement speed mixed me up, man. Okay, I guess we're gonna go into an attack speed level up frenzy from here on out. Uh, depending on how many levels we gain, of course. Uh, but we definitely, definitely, definitely need to invest into attack speed. As I have completely missed the mark on that. I thought we were gaining attack speed for some reason. Although I'm literally not even seeing any difference whatsoever on the attack speed that we have. But... My mind was like, we definitely have attack speed. I'm moving too fast to see my own spears go out. <laughs> I'm like a, I'm like a tom not. I was about to say I'm a tomato. <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm a hunter gatherer. Nope, I'm not hunter gatherer. I'm just a hunter. Hunter gatherer. Definitely not the gathering part. I'm, I'm the spear guy. I'm the guy that you build up to go and uh, search down and uh, bring you, um, I guess, elephants. Which, uh, of course, I am against uh, hunting elephants. But you know, back in the day. Uh, people had survived. Let's be pragmatic. Some things are pragmatic. Some things are, you know, yeah, once again, this is past against uh, present, right? Present sift is like, I don't do it, man. Don't, don't shoot them down. While uh, past sift is like, you know, my opinion on the past is like, yeah, I mean, they, they, they needed to survive, I guess. And uh, at the end of the day, if, if there are, I don't know, 10,000 people, 10,000 humans on the earth, and there are, I don't know, 50,000 elephants? I don't think 50,000 elephants. 500,000 elephants? Yeah, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Like, uh, once again, I'm talking about the past. I definitely, definitely, definitely not hold the same opinion in, in the present. <laughs> and in the future, for that matter, to be honest. Uh, but yeah. Let's continue zigzagging through. L look at the look at the enemies just magneticizing towards me. We're gonna box them in. We're doing, we're doing prime tactics over here. Alpha, alpha wolf tactics. I'm looping around and whatever stays in the middle just gets, um, I guess, speared down, to be honest. Let's continue on. Wait, did I previously say shot? <laughs> Back in the day, they were using spears to shoot the animals. That is a thing that people were doing. Yes. Oh, look at this, man. The spear. The spear feels wonky, to be honest. But I think the good thing with the spear is that it stays out and you can, like, move... Like, as if you're doing, like, a slash by using it. And then uh, the spear just gets dragged through the opponents. What was my guess, by the way, on the on the how long this is going to last? I think I said 25 or something. You see, now I did a confirmation about the guess being a real guess by uh, actually implementing it with my real voice instead of saying 27 minutes. Uh, yeah, th that's my actual guess. <laughs> I almost got a lemonade. You know, the first business ever created. No, I'm kidding. By the way, now that I said first business ever created and lemonade. Have you ever played Venture Capital? <laughs> it's an idle game that definitely everybody that has ever played idle game on their phone has played in their life, I guess. That's not a good question. I mean, is it? It might be a bad one. I don't know. The honest... You know, the one thing I actually want to see in the comments is ideas for runs. Like, ideas... Thematic ideas. That's the important part. And specifically, you can include anything that you want in the thematic ideas. But the most important part to me uh, is not the weapons, but the item that I pick up. So, if, if you can combine, like, weapons and item... Because that's the one thing I'm stuck on. On what items to get. Like, as you see, we're using the tomatoes right now. While well, I have gotten the tomatoes already. And the thing is that this whole mod idea with the golden chest mod and whatnot begun as an opinion as a as a let's let's use one item a million times and have fun and see how this goes so um like we're slowly getting to the point where most of these items are used already i mean i definitely have not done anything with the common items maybe that could be a thing maybe i don't know maybe i could do some challenge runs or whatever trying to pick up the worst items possible try to see if i lose but honestly i hate things like these i hate trying on purpose to lose i hate trying to uh, push myself against you know extreme difficulties that i myself uh, butchered myself into like i i don't enjoy things like these that's the honest truth i i like some people do really really enjoy challenges i'm more of a person that um, enjoys fun it, the, the fun does not come like i do not need the self the the sense of accomplishment that, that's not something i use gaming for i use gaming to pass my time to have fun to enjoy myself at this point you know to, to do my job as i'm a youtuber you know <laughs> so 
But I definitely do not play games for a sense of accomplishment. I, I get the sense of accomplishment by achieving things in real life. I mean, this might sound very offensive, and I definitely do not mean that offensive. You are allowed to get a sense of accomplishment for games, and you are allowed, as a human, to believe whatever you believe, okay? If you get a sense of accomplishment by be beating, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, Dark Souls, that's my classic go-to example, by the way, then I'm happy for you and good for you. But I myself am a person that I get frustrated and really crazy mad when I lose. I'm, I know myself that is my character. And instead of trying to, you know, do the classic thing, uh, take breaths and uh, relax, man, it's just the game. Yeah, instead of going that route, the let's follow whatever other people suggest route that doesn't work for me route, you know, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna play the games. There are so many games out there that just provide me with what I want, right? You enjoy the hard game. You enjoy the challenge because you enjoy um, I'm not trying to be offensive here once again I'm not trying to be antagonistic but you know people some people enjoy the feeling of beating something hard you know the feeling of I beat this thing that I was not actually supposed to beat and good for you but I'm not such a person a uh, person I'm I'm such a person in in real life um, you might also be a person like that in real life, right? When it matters, when, when, like, when I want to, for example, that's a, a one, a, a now good a go to example. Right now, I do want to learn skiing, and I'm also looking into learning snowboarding. Like, that is going to be a challenge, but I do want to do that. I do want to feel it. I do want to see how it is to snowboard or, and ski, uh, how to be good at it, how to, you know, slice through the ice, uh, the, the snow. I do want to do that. I do want to feel that. that. There, I will get a sense of accomplishment there. There, I'm going to be flexing. I'm going to be like, you know what? I know snowboarding look at this trick I'm doing you know there I do have that sense of accomplishment but when I'm playing games I do not want that because the difference between games and real life is that in real life there is no difficulty scale there is nothing that could have been easier or it could have been hard you either do it or you don't of course if you have money and whatnot and whatever you want to achieve has to do with money then yes there is a different way of achieving that but like in general achieving something like I want to do that with my life I want to uh, scale that ladder or I want to go up to that mountain or whatever, that is just do practice or, you know, go into the gym or, you know, become powerful or I want to lose weight, you know, or whatever, man. You can just try to, to do it. There is just one way. There isn't hard or, or easy. But in games, when you want to have, you know, just dopamine and just want to have fun, or at least that's for me, right? If you want to achieve something in a game, then you can play it in easier mode. You can play it in harder mode. For example, if I would ever, if in my life, if in my life, I would ever, 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 play um, Dark Souls, which is most likely not gonna happen, by the way. I will just play the easiest class. I will just play the best, the most powerful thing. I'm just gonna play the mage. I'm just gonna play whatever is extremely broken and just beats the game in half a minute. You know, that that's my play. Now, you might say, yo, Sif, the game is still hard with the mage. Uh, and also, don't play mage because uh, it's a joke. The game, you, know, you will not understand how the game feels. Well, that's my your mindset. I, I will use any means necessary that I can to win because I think my time in this earth is valuable to me and I don't want to spend time in training something and learning something that can be achieved in an easier way. That's why I feel a sense of accomplishment in real life. Because most of the time in real life, achieving something does not have that many ways. Maybe it has two ways, three waves, and most of these waves uh, ways are blocked by money, or, I think. Uh, otherwise, like if, 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 if it has nothing to do with money, then it's just your time, right? You're investing time to, for example, train your body or um, a body or, uh, you know, learn some tricks on something or, you know, anything that you do in real life. I'm, I'm really bad at exampling right now because it's hard for me to imagine what somebody would want in the real life without me myself wanting that, right? It's, that's really hard to do. <laughs> it's hard to, if I have a discussion with somebody, then I will be able to, you know, bounce ideas with. But right now, on my own, just thinking about things I might want, uh, so maybe I want to become a, a, a painter, right? You still will need to have to go through the tutorials. You have to learn. You have to learn techniques. You have to maybe go to a school. Like, there are some ways. You can go to a school. You can go to a teacher. You can learn it on your own. You can just freestyle. Just start painting on walls, whatever you decide to do. So, like, you can do it in different ways. But the thing is, the, the end achievement is gonna be done through trying, trial and error. You will have to stay there and do it. You're not gonna avoid that. No matter how you do it, you will not be able to avoid the part of you have to paint a lot of times to become a painter. While in games, you can avoid uh, beating the game. Uh, you, you can you can literally cheat if you want, right? Like, if, if you're frustrated until oblivion and, and you're like, you know what, I, I want to beat this game, but I cannot beat this game, you can cheat. Yes, you can. I mean, of course, cheating is not 
the good way, but why is cheating not the good way in solo player games, by the way, that are difficult and hard? Why is, why, why, why is like cheating not, oh, you, 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 you rob yourself of the sense of accomplishment? Yeah, but who are you to judge my uh, need of, of seeing the end of the game? That's, maybe that's what I want. Maybe I just want to see the end of the game. I want to see the final boss. I want to play against the final boss. But if you, if you play it with uh, cheats, then you're not actually going to play the final boss. So... Like, I, I still I still beat the game, I still uh, like beat the boss, I still do the fight, although, by the way, I'm not with cheating on games, I believe that you should actually try to beat it on your own. I'm just, you know, doing Devil's Advocate here to try to explain to you that uh, those things don't actually exist in real life. That's why the sense of accomplishment, uh, for me, for me, okay, this is my specific personal preference. For me, real life accomplishments is where I get my uh, sense of accomplishment from, and games are just a way to you know have fun relax play the game have fun relax you know it's it's <laughs> that's what i'm getting from games and in my opinion everybody should know exactly what they get from games they sh you and you included by the way everybody everybody watching in my opinion if you play games you should you should sit down and like look back what games you have played history you know <laughs> look back to the past <laughs> so it'd be like i hate history but look into history for what i'm about to say so yeah you should look in the past what games have you played what do you enjoy in playing and in general like why do you play games a lot of people play games just for the friends right just because of friends if if they're if, if the gaming sphere has had nothing to do with friends then they would never play games for example that, that's maybe people that play only league of legends or you know somebody might play league of legends because friends are playing it somebody might play league of legends because um they are addicted somebody might play it because um, you know they want to sky uh, how is it the sense of accomplishment because they are high ranked you know anybody can play games for different reasons so just look into yourself and see why you play games and don't, don't let anybody tell you you play wrong that's my opinion just just play the game the way you know you enjoy playing games because at the end of the day if you don't enjoy the game you're playing I don't say if you get mad or if you get uh, crazy about it or if you get triggered or whatever at the end of the day not when you're playing the game at the end of the day if you don't enjoy the time you use in a game then you should you know look into it maybe don't play it anymore right because you might get frustrated by playing dark souls and losing and dying but if you at the end of the day win and then feel accomplished and feel proud about yourself then good to you but if at the end of the day you got frustrated and hate what you did and you feel like you wasted time and you feel like you should not have wasted 100 hours into this game and at the end of the day just using a mage beats the game easily blah 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 then don't play the game at the end there are so many games that you can play and choose uh so yeah i don't know why i went into this tandem by the way um i hope it didn't come out as uh, i guess aggressive because i'm not into salty mode right now this was a, just a very simple discussion or topic i guess that i decided to open up um yeah sometimes i'm not really sure when i discuss something do i actually talk about it in a normal voice or will it come out as um, you know sift is trying to push their opinion and you know classic sift trash talking everything <laughs> i'm making fun of myself by the way i'm not taking fun of because you know i i'm really trying to uh, better myself it has been like I don't know, it has been like about a month or two where I have decided that I slowly try to, you know, forcefully change my negative attitude, which now, of course, there are always people saying, yo, Sift, be yourself, don't actually try to conform to others and whatnot, which that's not the same thing. I I'm not conforming to anybody. I'm just saying that I believe for myself that uh, I should become a better human. And uh, the first thing to do is instead of being salty about everything, just appreciate, not appreciate, realize that everybody has a different opinion about a lot of things and everybody uh, thinks different about a lot of things like the mind of all the people don't work with the exact same things um, you know ways and also everybody has lived a bunch of other things with you so there are so many different opinions it's so hard to realize like even if you're an outgoing person even if you have if even if in your life you have talked with a thousand people which not everybody has talked with a thousand people like you will still always find a new person with a different um, experience of their life they have lived different things therefore they have different opinions therefore they enjoy different things like it's 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 just so we're so many it's it's so hard to realize because in your life how many people do you think you're gonna uh, you know talk to with it? how many human names do you think you're gonna hear in your life like my name is x my name is y how many 
You're gonna say 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, even if you say 50,000, which by the way is wrong, <laughs> you cannot beat me so many people. There are six, like six billion, 10 billion humans on the planet. So it's, it's, it's extremely hard with the 100 or 200 people that you have met, or maybe a thousand people you have met, to even grasp how many different opinions exist in the planet. So, um, yeah, that's my opinion. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. At the end, it, uh, it went a bit overboard in uh, theoretical analysis and, uh, I don't know, theory of humans and whatnot. But I hope you guys really enjoyed. I hope you guys uh, and girls, of course, find found this, I guess, not exciting, but maybe um, thought-provoking, I would say. And if you did, drop a comment and comment down below and tell me about it. Let's disagree and agree and, you know, everything in between in the comments down below. Uh, I will I will read most of them or all of them depending on when you post this now if you post the video like eh, honestly yeah if like if you comment in a month from now there is a good chance I'm not gonna see it but uh, yeah first second day we're gonna I'm gonna read through them I'm gonna see like opinions in different matters and I'm gonna interject my opinion in between mm, maybe I should not do that because it's gonna be very antagonistic if I start doing that anyway I'm gonna see I'm gonna see depending on what you write depending on what you write whoever triggers me the most is gonna get the comment <laughs> anyway I hope that's good uh, that, that, that's it that's it that's it I hope you guys enjoyed I really did and uh, I really enjoyed it today man from from yesterday when I read the comment that was like um, you, you seem sad today I feel extremely powered just by by talking about these things so yeah i don't know i'm a weird character i hope you guys enjoyed maybe i'm not maybe i'm very basic i don't know i hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching and see you guys around